Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. I think every now and then we should take a deep breath and, and step back and get back to basics and, and just look at some definitions of terms and, and how they interrelate with each other because if we're going to communicate in acoustics, sound, music, these are all interrelated subjects but they each have their own nomenclature, their own vernacular if you will and there's a lot of overlap, yes, but it's the understanding of the differences that separates the paradigms that we use to process all this information. And, and acoustics is complicated, so I think it's good every now and then to uh, go back and look at some basics. So let's do that today. Today we're going to look at the three physical properties that sound waves have. So take a minute, think about them. But they're rate, strength, and pattern. And I'm trying to make this nice and, and descriptive. Sometimes the words I use are not scientific, but I'm trying to illustrate the concept for you so you'll understand. You don't need to understand the technical, but you do need to understand the concept. So, let's look at rate. Let's look at the first one. What is the rate? How fast are the vibrations? Because we know that all sound energy is created by something moving, something vibrating. So rate is nothing but the speed of the vibration. So if we graphically look, we'll have some wavelengths that look like this, some like this, where the distance between the peak and the trough are tighter or longer. This all speaks to the rate or how fast are the vibrations. Now, here's where the overlap starts to occur and here's where the confusion also arises. In music, we refer to that rate as the pitch of the sound, okay? You've heard of musicians having perfect pitch. Well, what are they able to do in terms of vibrations? They're able to take their vocal cords and achieve the same rate, okay? So they're able to create the same rate, thus the same rate of the sound translates to pitch in music. In acoustics, we really don't care about any of that. <laughs> we do when we're uh, breaking down the, the technologies to use in a room for articulation. However, it's not that not big of a, a process for us as it is in music. How do we express this? Everybody knows this term. It's expressed in frequencies. And the term we use is hertz. And we all are familiar with that one. So rate is how fast are the vibrations. In music, it's the pitch. In acoustics, it's expressed in terms of frequency, and, and frequency is heard a lot about it. Now, if we take all this and we add it into a sentence and try and tie everything together, let's see what it looks like. So we could say, as an example, any note above middle C resonates at a frequency of 440 cycles. Okay, what does that tell us? So we have rate, okay, resonates, at a particular frequency, which is expressed in hertz. So I think that example kind of illustrates rate and how it moves between music and acoustics. And that's just two paradigms being considered. And there's many, many others. But I think if we look at the relationship and, and between the disciplines, then we'll, we'll just get a, a better understanding and we may be able to understand it in one uh, uh, dimension like music, but not in acoustics. Well, if you just make a, a simple shift in your mind of uh, how, they two, how the two are correlated, uh, you'll be okay. The next uh, video we'll look at strength and then our third one will be pattern. All right, we just looked at rate and went over that. Now let's look at the second of the three physical properties of sound waves and that is strength. What is strength? Strength is the intensity of the rate of vibrations. Remember we, we learned that it was the speed and the rate of vibrations that was critical for rate. Well this is a, a measure of their strength if you will, their intensity. And whenever something has strength or, or intensity in one area um, it all has to work. It all has to fit within what you're trying to do. So in music, what do we call that? Well, the strength of 
which is one of the three physical properties of sound wave, is perceived as loudness. And we all have heard this term, well, it's loud, the music is loud. Turn the music down, it's too loud. So loudness is the vernacular and, and the perception uh, that we use when, when in relationship to strength. Now in acoustics, it's kind of a different process. It's kind of the same, but kind of different. And here's where that overlap occurs, but then they both kind of separate and go their own way. And, and th this is the difference that you have to realize. So in acoustics, it's wave strength, the amplitude, the gain. How, how much over acceptable baseline is it? Uh, what is the acceptable baseline? Well, it depends on our room. How much energy is in the room based on the volume of the room? How much energy is being worked in the room based on the dimensions, the ratio, height, width, length? All these factors have to be considered and taken into uh, the analysis. How do we measure in acoustics strength and the amplitude? Well, it's in decibels, so we all know it's this common one that we see, dB. So here's a good example of where strength, music, we perceive it and, and use the term loudness to describe it, but in acoustics, it has a whole different twist and a whole different process involved to it. So one kind of forms the basis for the other. Thank you. Okay, and in our third part of our three physical properties of sound waves that we wanted to go over today is the pattern or the signature of the rate and strength that we've talked about. So that's the shape, the waveform, the pattern that it takes. 60 cycles is different than 2000. So they have different shapes, different forms. The simplest, and we've all heard this uh, term before, is the sine wave. That's the simplest of all the waves of all this. Now, back to our differences between, you know, acoustics and music that we're using for comparison purposes here for understanding. So, in music, what is music? Music is multiple sine waves. Many, many different sine waves to produce music, okay? In acoustics, what is a sine wave? It's really a test signal for us. So, there, there, there's your, your differences because one is multiple sine waves to produce something and then we are testing for that multiplicity, if you will, using just one frequency. So think about that and uh, we'll talk about that uh, in, a, in a future video. If you enjoyed today's video, if you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.